All right, Cancer. Cancer, welcome. Hopefully you're all enjoying the holiday season. I say Christmas. Okay. Don't take offense to it. It's just what it is. Still wishing everybody the best. Right now, I'm using one of my favorite decks. A friend of mine got this for me called Guardian of the Night Tarot. It's actually one of my favorite decks. I forgot I had it. Uh, there's only one place that I use it in, and today you're the benefactor of that. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Fool, the Four of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Right now, uh, there can be some gifts coming in for you from the universe. This also feels like there's a couple of surprises as well with the Fool. You've got all the skills you need to take care of that. But you may be withdrawing in order to uh, rest up and do a sort of like a push forward. For others of you, I don't hear too much more than that. There's a give and take that is surprising and it's actually healing. And somebody's working, working with you on something and that seems really, really wonderful. Now, it's four, yeah, we'll take it. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups in the desire section or a want. Opportunity. Lots of opportunity. Maybe you want to end some confusion in order to be able to go forward and start a new life. The problem with that is, is we have judgment and the moon and the wheel of fortune. There is a major choice that needs to be made that has come back around again. You may feel a little uncertain about it, um, but I hear try your best and whatever happens is meant to be. Uh, and then the Wheel of Fortune, everything moving forward, starting to gain momentum. We have the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the World and the Lovers. This is the possible outcome. Somebody wants to go forward in a romantic way, communicate with somebody, um, in order to start something new with them. Uh, and then we have the lovers, which can be a choice. It can also be uh, that this is, well, yeah, love is a choice. You get to choose. Um, so, yeah, there just seems to be oh, the, uh, the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Something breaks loose. Somebody starts to communicate, and this all goes sort of the way that you want it. Uh, interesting thing, I know, for some reason, this year. Now, I don't know if it's you guys as well, but there just seems to be such a lack of love out there. I have no idea why. I know a lot of people struggling um, with, with that sort of thinking that they just don't feel loved. So... <clears throat> I don't know what's going on in the energy out there, but geez, uh, it's really strange. Now we have the Three of Wands, Strength card, the Magician, and the Seven of Swords. You know where you want to go. You are starting to get a good feel for what you want to do, where you want to head. Uh, this is just the beginning. We see the Strength card, followed by the Magician. Seven of Swords, you're hoping that you have the strength in order to get through this. Well, you do. With the Magician and the Strength card, yeah, you've got that ability, that strength, that internal fortitude to get through this Seven of Swords, something that you felt was unfair or is unfair. On the other side, what you need to be aware of, we have the Six of Cups, Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and Justice. So there can be a reconnection with somebody here. But you're kind of wondering, you know, is this actually the thing to be done? Um, the Queen of Pentacles, you'd rather sort of just stay doing your own thing. And then the Nine of Cups, there's still success and desires that you have that maybe haven't fulfilled and those need to balance out for you. So it's almost like um, you want love. You want all of those things, but that was weird. 
it may not be coming in the package that you wanted it, which is fine. You know, that's just the way things go. We have the Ace of Cups and the Five of Cups, Cancer, followed by the Nine of Swords. You've regretted love in the past, and it stresses you out. Um, with the Five of Cups here, it's like, do I even want to go back through this? Um, and risk that type of regret and hurt again, uh, which makes a lot of sense, which goes back to my early commentary about not a whole hell of a lot of love going around right now. Um, but that's what I've got for you today. Best of luck this week, Cancer. We'll talk to you next time. Stay safe.